Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about Python program to do some of digits of a number. Suppose if I am going to execute this program, so I am going to give number 234, so the output come of digits 2 plus 3 plus 4, 5 plus 4, 9. So the output come, the sum of digits is 9. Suppose if I enter next number, 4, 5, 6. So, sum of digits of number 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 4, 15. So, right here, the output display, the total sum of digits is 15. So, this is the program, and uh, right here, I used modulus operator, right here, I used division operator. So, if you give only one division and execute the program, so if you intro 2, 3, 4, so right here, this uh, gate does not find number. So for this, you have to use double backward class. So now I'm going to discuss this all codes at here. Input enter or number. So this all display into the output screen because here I'm using input function. So at here, what do I'm going to enter? So that received by n. Here I'm using type casting function int. So n receive at here. I'm going to enter n value. 2, 3, 5. Here after one more variable sum and here after control comes to while loop. So while n greater than 0. So n value is 2, 3, 5 greater than 0. Condition is to that coincide. So at your rim equal to n mod 10. So one more variable rim is. So n value is 2, 3, 5. So if you do 10 divided by 235. So it divided by 23 times. So add here the value count 230, 230. So add here remainder count 5. So now rim value is add here 5. Now here after sum equal to sum plus rim. So some value is uh, uh, initially some value is 0. So 0 plus rim value is 5. 0 plus 5 sum become 5. Now here after n equal to n by 10. So n value is 23 by 235 uh, by 10. So it divided by 23 by. So cosine is 23. So n value is 23 here. Here after that go and check the condition n greater than 0, 23 greater than 0. So the condition is true. So again, rim equal to n mod 10. So 20 or 10, 23. So it divided by 2 times. At here, 20 come, remainder come 3. Remainder come 3. So rim is now this time 3. So it is sum equal to sum plus rim. So sum value is 5, 5 plus rim value is 3. So the sum is now 8. Here n equal to n by 10. So 23 by 10, so it divide by 2 times. So n is now 2. Here after that curve, check the condition 2 greater than 0, condition is 2, so that coincides. So at here rim equal to n more 10. So n value is now 2, 2 by 10, 10. So at your remainder come 2. So remainder come at your 2 and cosine come 0. So rim is now this time. This time rim is 2. And your sum equal to sum plus rim. So 8 plus 2. Rim value is 2. The value come 10. And here n equal to n by 10. So n value is so 2, 2 by uh, 10 or 2 by 10. So it divided by 0 times, cos and come 0. So n is now 0 this time. Here after that curve, check the condition n greater than 0. So 0 greater than 0. Condition is not true. So control comes to this point. So enter a printer function. So this all display into the output screen. The sum, the total sum of digits is 
some value is 10. The output come, the total sum of digits is 10. So this is the dry method of this program to do sum of digits of a number. So I enter n value this time 235 or you can enter any other number 6, 9, 2, 4 and do the same dry end method. So you will get the expected output. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.